Gigi Hadid inspired makeup look. I think she wore this on like some kind of sport illustrated red carpet or something. I don't really know, don't quote me on that. But I will link the picture that I'm using as reference in the description bar. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you want to follow me on any of my social media, my Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat are all Roxoras, same way it's spelled here. So if you guys want to know how to get this face, then definitely keep on watching. So I'm firstly going to prime my lids using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and this is the anti-aging one. I'm just going to pop that on the lids so that all the eyeshadow that we're going to apply later on glides on really smoothly. So for the eye makeup, I'm firstly starting off with the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Semi Sweet Palette. This is such a cute eyeshadow palette and it smells of chocolate which is like double win. So firstly I'm going to be reaching for the shade Coconut Cream just to kind of set the primer in place. So I'm using my Zoeva Luxe Crease Brush to kind of sweep that really lightly all over the lid. And because this is such a light shadow it's not really going to show up. I'm only using this for the purpose of a really clean and smooth canvas. Now for the crease I'm going in with this nice pinky shade here and this is going to act as a really nice transition shade so I'm just blending that through the crease. I'm going to be reaching for this shade here which is called Peanut Butter and I'm going to be using that to further deepen up the crease. So when Gigi's eyes are open, her eyeshadow look is quite tapered out to almost create this cat-like wing. So I'm placing down the shadow in a V motion. So I'm blending it into the crease and also joining it down to the lower lash line like so. So at the moment this makeup look is looking quite orange but we want it to look more pink. So to add that pink pop of colour, I'm actually going to be using a blush because I feel like this is a really close shade to what she's wearing. So this is a blush by Sleek and this is in shade Flush 935. If you guys have been here for a long time, this is a major throwback because I used to use this for like almost every makeup tutorial when I first started. So using the same Zoeva crease brush, I'm going to just pick some of that shadow up really lightly and start blending that into the crease. And we want to follow that tapered outline that we've already created. And then I'm also diffusing that colour into the centre portion of my eye as well as the inner corner. I'm also going to blend that onto my lower lash line as well, very, very lightly. So now that we've finished placing down the guideline of this whole look, you can now focus on adding the darker shades and of course the glitter. So to start off I'm going to be picking up Punk, which is this dark chestnut shade which also has like a purpley undertone to it. And using a smaller fluffy brush, I think this one is by Bobbi Brown, and really focusing that into the outer corner and crease. And again, I'm creating this V-like motion with this. I'm then going in with my Zoeva brush to blend this out. Now whatever is left on my brush, I'm just going to sweep that into the inner corner as well, just to add a little bit more depth there. So this is what it should look like so far. And now I'm going to go ahead and add in the glitter, which is like the most fun part. So I'm going to be using a mixture of these two shades, which is Pop and Harajuku. And with my Zoeva Smoky Shader, I'm just patting that into the centre of my lid. I'm also going a little bit above and beyond the crease because in her makeup she's got quite a lot of glitter up in this portion of her lid. So now I'm just going to go ahead and repeat that to the other eye. I'm now returning back to the shade Pine. I'm going to be sweeping that on my lower lash line with the smoky shader. And I'm also going to be taking the shade Pop on my flat brush once again and just sweeping that underneath my pupil on the centre of my lower lash line. I'm now just going to dust off any fallout that may have fallen down onto my cheeks. I'm going to be going in with just a little bit of foundation just to clear up the skin and get an even complexion. And for this I'm going to be using the Giorgio Armani Maestro Fusion Makeup Foundation. So I'm just popping a few drops of that onto my Zoeva Buffer Brush. And just lightly buffing that into the skin. I'm then just going to conceal underneath my eyes with the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. And I'm using this little flat brush to blend this out. just bronze up my face using the Too Faced bronzer in shade light to medium and this also smells like chocolate which honestly just makes me want to eat it. So for this I'm using my Real Techniques blush brush because it's quite a big fluffy size. Now for my highlight I'm using this Rosie for Autograph highlighter and this is in shade Rosebud. Look how gorgeous the packaging is as well. It's copper. It's amazing. So I'm using my Rude Techniques contour brush and just picking up some of the product and just dusting that over my cheekbone. I just like want to drown myself in this because it's so nice. I'm also going to put a little bit on the tip of my nose and down the bridge. 
Gigi's eyebrows are like hashtag goals, but my eyebrows are too arched and structured to kind of replicate her look. So today what I'm going to do is just brush some gel through them. And this is the Born This Way Brow Gel by Rimmel. I don't know how she does it, like her brows look really sparse, but they look really nice somehow. Now for the lip, it seems like she's wearing a satin nude shade. So the closest shade that I have to this is this one by Lancome. And this is in shade 218. So I'm just going to pop that over the lip. Oh my god, I totally forgot mascara. I'm going to be using one of my favourite drugstore mascaras, which is actually really fitting for this tutorial because Gigi is the face of Maybelline, and this is the Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara. So this is the final look, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I tend to usually stick to my golds and browns and neutral colours, so this was really fun to film. So if you guys enjoyed this makeup look, definitely leave me a thumbs up so I know, and subscribe if you're not already. The subscribe button is just down below, so make sure you hit that button and subscribe and you get free cookies. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!